In Excel, we can use the VLOOKUP function to return an approximate match. For example, let's say we want to find the bonus rate for these orders based on the order values tiers here. Taking the first value for Nelly Lockett, VLOOKUP would match it to 20,000 in the bonus rate table, and we could have it return a bonus rate of 15% for Nelly. So even though the exact value of 22,118 isn't present in the bonus rate table, VLOOKUP performs an approximate match, finding the next lower value. Now this is super easy with VLOOKUP, but there's no equivalent function in Power Query. However, as with everything in Excel, there is a workaround, so let's take a look. I'll start by loading the two tables to Power Query, so on the Data tab of the ribbon, from Table Range, my data's in an Excel table. Let me bring the Power Query window over into View. I'm going to close and load this one just as a connection and then we'll go and grab the other table which has my bonus rates. So I've got my two tables in Power Query, you can see them here. All I need to do now is merge them together. I'm going to merge the queries as new and that way we can just see the audit trail of how the queries evolve. So I'm matching my orders table to the bonus rates using the orders column and the order value. And down here in the join kind, I want full outer. And that's because obviously we won't be finding an exact match for every order amount in both tables. Let's click OK. And now all I need to do is expand the bonus rates table. I don't want the original column name as the prefix. Click OK. Notice the last row contains null values for manager date and orders. This is because we don't have any order values that match the bonus rate order value of 20,000. That's okay, and you'll see why soon. Now I need to add a conditional column. We'll deselect one of these so that it becomes available. We'll call this bonus band. So if the orders column equals null, then we want to return the order value. Otherwise, return the orders column. I'll click OK, and you can see we now have a value on every row. Let's change the data type here to a decimal number, and now I can sort it in ascending order. Now you can see the bonus rates are in the correct order. All I need to do is fill them down, and I can do that on the Transform tab, Fill Down. Let's change the data type here to Percentage. Now I can delete the bonus band and order value columns, just holding down control to select them and then press the delete key. They've done their job, I don't need them anymore. I also need to get rid of this row with the nulls on it, so let's filter that out in the manager column. And now I have my orders and their respective bonus rates. Notice the first two don't qualify for a bonus because their sales values are below the first bonus tier of 10,000. Now as a bonus, no pun intended, we can add a column that actually calculates the bonus amount. So holding down control, select the two columns, and then I'm going to add column, standard and multiply. There's my bonus amounts. Let's change that to a decimal number, and I'll rename this bonus. Lastly, I'll give my query a better name. I'll call it order bonuses. And that's it, I'm done. Let's take a look at another example. This same technique can be used to assign fiscal periods to a data set. Here I've got my list of quarter start and end dates and their respective quarters. I'm going to load this table into Power Query using the From Table range. The first thing I want to do is change the data type on these two columns because they're just date, not date and time. And I'll replace the current step. So I still have my orders table here. First I need to match this data type to the other table, so I need to change it to date. I'm going to replace current. And then I'm going to merge the queries as new. And the second table is the quarters table. We're matching the date to the quarter start, and the join kind is full outer. Again, we're going to expand this table. I don't need the quarter end and I'm going to just leave the column names as is. I don't want them prefixed. Just like before, we need to add a conditional column that generates a list of complete dates based on the date or the quarter start. So we'll call this quarter start date. So if the date column equals null, then we'll return the quarter start date. Otherwise, 
let's return the date. We can change this data type to date and then sort it in ascending order. Now I've got my quarters correctly dispersed throughout the data. I can transform and fill down the quarter start and the quarter start date columns have done their job. So I'm just going to select them and press delete. We can get rid of the null in the manager column. And now I have my data classified into their respective fiscal quarters. I hope you found this Power Query technique useful. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.